New Year's Eve, I will place my paper hat on my concussion and I have lip cancer and dance. Thank you all so much for coming out here tonight. I'm very flattered and I'm very honored to be performing the work of perhaps the greatest Canadian artist of all time. Born in Montreal in the 1930s, Jewish. He attended McGill University and first achieved international stardom in the 60s and since then has continued to push the artistic envelope ever further towards the abyss and his unfathomable genius and his mysterious imagination has only grown. Friends, tonight we celebrate the work of William Shatner. <laughs> You, you are my guests in this enterprise, and I feel responsible for you. One by one, the guests arrive. The guests are coming through.
Chelsea Hotel, number two. Not many, though, know Chelsea Hotel, number one. Sort of an early embryonic version of the song, unreleased. And probably even fewer people know the 13-word song, There Is No Reason Why. For the first time in North America, I am presenting my amalgamation of these three songs. If you were lucky enough to catch it in Berlin, as some of you did, then uh, you'll only see that it uh, has improved greatly because, um, because I've been practicing and because I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm joking. I did practice. Chelsea Hotel, you were famous, your art 
faces And both of us are who we must try Their eyes are soft with sorrow Montreal, Miss Isabel Marceau. This is a song about a man and a woman. And the name of the song is Let's Sing Another Song, Boys. And the song pertains to dissect the intimate connections in the ordinary relationship. Coming to no satisfactory conclusions, the author of the melody abandons it and begins another song, hence the title, Let's Sing Another Song, Boys. At which point, in the author's mind, he envisions the audience rising to its feet, their throats burning, and singing the new song, which speaks of the ends of all the tyrannies that we place upon each other in the living room. And the song is completed in a great triumphal march on the Bastille. Mm -hmm. Hells 
him with a microphone and let some poor singer that's right just like me hey, Where I knew she lay waiting 
intermission. I hope you don't go home. If you do go home, don't go home. (laughs) 
It's a cone joke. <laughs> Give me a cry, oh, give me a Hiroshima. 